Admiral Havelock and Lord Hamilton are in the courtyard. I expect they'll want to congratulate you. Thank you, Corvo. Thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove it. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons, but I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. Can I be of service to you? There is something to it, isn't there? Who knows you what her mind is like being there? Spank the high overseer in his own house. I hope the tools I designed for you function to your satisfaction. The fact that I am standing here and talking to you affirms that this is true in several ways. I'm aware of that. My brothers control the voting block for my family. I'm very much aware of that. You did it! Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later.
You're lucky I keep you on. Lucky? This place would fall apart in ten minutes without me. Is that so? In any case, you can't dismiss me. I went through the books this morning and found five mistakes you've made. Very well. You're lucky I found them before the Admiral did. It is every citizen's duty to report treasonous speech and action. The state depends on you. It's a nice old pub. These beds have seen quite a bit of use, I can tell you. It was a milkmaid who started it. She took ill one morning after her chores, but the milk had already been delivered. That was all it took for them to wall the place off. Plague spreads fast. My master had a very fitful night. No one sleeps well here. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route.
You went down there in the sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Corvo, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed, you've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo, because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. Dust here, dust there. Feels like the whole world is dusty. I know the Golden Cat, not as a patron, mind you. I designed some specialized devices for them. I kept the blueprints. If anyone is curious. Don't. I brought you tea as a courtesy to a colleague. I won't make that mistake in the future. I'm sorry. I only thought Gamble's book never mind. contained much more than we expected. Thank you. Corvo, my friend. Do you need ammunition or weaponry? Would you like me to craft something for you? Corvo, a moment if I may. Corvo, I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard, cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the City Watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. I'll get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat, if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. 
I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Be careful going up the street, Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one of those watchtowers on Clavering now. I guess you getting rid of Campbell shook up the Lord Regent. Overseer Thaddeus Campbell is to report to the city watch for immediate questions. Hey, you're just the man I was looking for. Slackjaws wants to talk to you. He's the one. Hey, we got a message for you from Slackjaw. He wants to talk at the distillery. I don't think they're gonna last much longer. That's what they get for taking free swigs from the still. That tainted elixir is bad stuff, I guess. It's what they call irony, I think. Elixir is supposed to prevent the plague sickness, fight it off. But someone poisoned the bootleg still, and now we got the elixir that gives you the plague. I don't think that's what that word means, idiot. Well, how would I know? It's some other word. Then. Anyway, I almost feel sorry for the poor. I'll be waiting. Easy, easy. You just need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slackjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. Rest of us get one part elixir, three parts water. Oh, that's just to make it. Drink till you drop, that's my motto. He is a villain if I judge your looks aright. A villain I might have some work for. Somebody put plague in the brute tank. Half my men are weepers. Trapped three of them in the distillery. Rest are wandering in the street. Since it's so and I find myself short of able bodies, I may have a point of interest for you, see? Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing round here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. 
I'm right, ain't I? See, slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while, not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there, dressed like that, and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat.